name is Kaylin Nesbitt. I go to Oakwood University and I am a Dolphin Island REU intern. For my project, I am working with Dr. Jennifer Bloodgood and Dr. Brandy Keel Reese, and together we will be doing investigative work to try and figure out where some bacteria came from that killed two dolphins last year. It is important that we find out where these bacteria strains came from because dolphins are a sentinel species, meaning that they can be a reflection of what's going on in the environment. The bacteria that we found is called Orissa pelthorex, which happens to be a One Health pathogen, meaning that it can affect people, animals, and the environment. However, it is not commonly found in wild bottlenose dolphins, so it raises concern for how bottlenose dolphins in the Gulf are being exposed to it now. So right here next to me is a DNEZ power water kit that we use to do extractions. So as you can see here, it comes with a little instruction kind of paper that tells you essentially how to use the different materials in here. So what we did was we got some water samples because we want to see if there's any erysipelthyrex floating around in the nearby waters. So what we did was we got some samples and then we took this kit and we have different various materials like uh, beading tubes that have little beads in them that we initially put the samples in and it kind of roughs up against the samples because the samples are on paper so the little beads kind of rough off rough them off of the paper in a way and then we go in with these different solutions and we put them on a machine called a vortex which kind of shakes everything up and then through a series of just repetitiveness we go through we put them in tubes they put them in a centrifuge and then we extract waste out. Then we'll go in, put another uh, solution in. Like we have solution IRS, we have some ethanol, solution PW4, all these different solutions that we put in, centrifuge it, take out the waste, and we just keep on doing it to purify our sample until we're left with nothing but DNA. And then from there, we can take it and we can process and analyze it to see if there's any erysipelthyrex in it, which would tell us if it's floating around in the water or not, depending if we find any. So that's just one little side project for our entire thing. Just, you know, a little piece of it. And then over here, what you're looking here, it's called a phylogenetic tree, which shows how closely related samples are to each other based off their DNA or whatever sequence you use. So for our project, we use the 16S part of a genome for each sample that we took for each dolphin. And from there, we basically cross-reference different DNA samples from a huge computer base. And from there, we were able to make this tree by running it through a couple of different programs. So now, we can kind of get an idea of where our samples may have come from. Of course, we have to keep refining it. This is just a rough draft, but it gives us a good idea of where our samples could have come from, which will later on help us to kind of weed out what could be the most possible source for each bacteria, even if it's not the same.